Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to record my ECG with the augmented lymph leads called AVR, AVL and AVF. With these additional lymph leads it is much easier to determine the mean electrical vector. Now in the previous clip I have shown you that it is possible to calculate the angle of the mean electrical vector by using Eindhoven 1 and 2 for example. However, this is pretty difficult to construct because the coordinate system is not orthogonal. What would be really useful is if we had two orthogonal leads, one horizontal and one vertical. Well, firstly the horizontal one. This is simply Eindhoven 1. However, we do not have a vertical lead because both Eindhoven 2 and 3 are not vertical. So what we therefore need is a lead where one electrode is placed on my foot and the other one in the middle between my shoulders. So let's try and create this virtual electrode. For the foot, we have got the foot electrode, which I'm just going to place down here. And this one is connected to the positive input of the amplifier. So this is the easy part. But now comes a trick for the electrode between my shoulders. What we do here is that we simply use the electrodes on my arms again and connect them together with our two resistors here. Resistor 1 and 2, which are both connected to the negative input of the amplifier. So, let's do this here. There we go. So this connection in turn creates this virtual electrode between my shoulders. So there is no need to place a new one. We simply use the same electrodes as before on both my arms and foot. Well, what we have created here is a lead which is vertical and it's called augmented vector to the foot or in short AVF. This runs from the point between my shoulders down to the foot. Now it is much easier to construct our electrical heart vector by using a Cartesian coordinate system. We use AVF as our Y axis and Eindhoven 1 as our X axis. Apart from AVF we can also use the positive electrode and connect this one to our two arms and in turn get our additional two leads AVR and AVL. So let's take a close look at each lead one by one. Firstly AVR. We take the positive electrode and connect this one to the right arm and then the negative electrode which is connected to our two resistors is connected one to the left arm and the other one to the left foot. There, this is AVR. Let's move on to AVL. We take the positive input and connect it to the left arm and then the negative input from the two resistors gets connected to the remaining two limbs, left foot and right arm. There, so this is AVL. Well, in modern digital ECG machines, these leads are not measured but calculated from Eindhoven 1, 2 and 3 via trigonometric construction.